You are the man. man. You the man. You're the man. <laughs> you are, are the man. The man. <laughs> You're the man. Connor says his patience wearing thin over UFC inactivity. Patience is a skill we must master. Connor's supposedly just begging for a fight. Let me fight, daddy. I wonder if he's making so much money per it's fight that it's not deal, that though. beneficial. I gotta pay Conor McGregor. I could have built a house in Beverly Hills. Shut the f up. We were it talking about yesterday at, at Sean's house about how you thought Conor changed. Yeah. And, and I, I'm like, I, and I said, I'm like, dude, we can't even relate. It, it's hard for us to be like, oh, it, it's hard to say if I was in that situation, I wouldn't change. You don't right. know. Yeah. With especially like with Schmo said, with all the blood sharks in the water trying to get everything. Yeah. And just like, you're that confident. You get, I mean, you get that much money. You get that much things happen to you and you're that confident. You don't know really how you'd yeah. act. You'd like to think you would. But. Yeah. Well, I just have a strong feeling that at the end of the day, I don't think if you guys ever got that kind of money, you would ever change. I don't well, I'm changing, baby. No. Oh, yeah. So, like, change I in what way? Like, do, do what? Jokes. Like, something. What, what? Uh, knock an old guy out in a bar. I'd be like, Tim, Depends why Depends if I got that good shit. Did he call me a f or something? Whoa. Bleep. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you Sorry. preach every day? Stoicism. Stoicism. Yeah, but if you're drunk. Dana, Shit. That's an excuse. If you got that kind of money, would your stoicism be better? Would that change you? I would hope it would have helped me improve and just be better and just be better. Yeah, but you you go into a bar. You, you're you fresh after a couple Look at GSP. Bumps, bumps. You go in there, take a shot, and you give this old guy a shot, and you're just like, yeah, I'm the fuck. And he says, yeah. fuck you. I ain't drinking that That trash. shit tastes like shit. And what? You go, what? Look, at, Dink. look at guys like GSP. You don't drink. You don't do drugs. Anderson Silva. Yeah. Khabib. Doesn't drink. Doesn't like pussy. These motherfuckers aren't going <laughs> to change. Khabib's got Khabib's got life-changing money. That motherfucker hasn't changed. Motherfucker's out in the mountain yeah, but his making religion, campfires. His religion keeps him fucking just so disciplined. Also, also, like the Nelk boys, no, no one in particular told me, those Russians are dogs. They just keep it hidden. I, well, them. I can they, imagine. Maybe. They are dogs. They <laughs> keep it hidden. I'm sure it and, could be And chicks come and blah, blah, blah. It's this whole thing. But it's pussy, just pussy. like... Pussy, pussy. Hunter Millie? <laughs> Yeah, it, it depends. If you're fucking training for something specific, it's easier to stay disciplined. But when Connor's made all that money and does have a fight coming up, he's doing movie scenes. I bet a motherfucker's enjoying life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw uh, the other day you and Connor had a little tweet back and forth. Yeah. About how much you were able to reveal about what you guys were talking about. But what exactly were you guys? Well, when he was in Liverpool back in 2017, he was supposedly outside my house. I don't know if he was outside wanting me to come and party with them or looking a fight, but he was meant it was but he was meant to be outside my house in the middle of the night, but he must have been at the wrong house, lad, because my mum has CCTV, lad. Obviously, if he was outside my house, that was getting videoed and put all over my Instagram. McGregor was looking for the body, you know who the boy is. You know what I mean? But when you went to uh, Conor McGregor's pub, you had a massive, massive food binge, and you had a FaceTime with him. I know he helped you out with the bill. How much was? What, did he spend all the money on the bill for you? Did he pay it all? Yeah, and he paid it all, lad. Are we talking 100 quid, 200 quid? We didn't even see it. We didn't see the bill. He just said, I'm taking care of it. But I was eating and Molly was drinking, lad. So you can imagine how much it was. It was great when Connor said good things about us. Because I've got respect for Connor. A lot of people in MMA, they talk bad about him. And he might have changed a bit, but that amount of money can do that. But without him, MMA wouldn't be what it is now. Gary Neville wouldn't be coming into this gym to interview me and Molly if it wasn't for Connor McGregor and the way he made the whole sport explode into the mainstream. Without Connor McGregor, I'm not getting paid what I get now and I'm not getting a bar steel deal. I'm not getting the sponsorship opportunities I get. So a lot of people need to put some respect on Connor's name. When you look back at your UFC legacy and all the good things you did, you had that one incident happen. Remember when you obviously fought McGregor hmm. and you jumped over the, the fence and you dove into where all the fans yeah. were. What Are you not anything against, but were you proud of that moment? Is that something that you look back at and you regret doing? I'm not going to say I'm proud or something like this. Maybe, maybe on this age right now, where right now like 33 and a half, uh, maybe I'm not gonna jump right now, mm -hmm. but for that time, so what, um, I like, think it was know, epic. That's like MMA history. That was so like, epic. I think, yeah. but, what, but what actually? But what was in your thing? Take us through, if you don't mind. Like, you're there. You just choked out Connor, right? And so, did you hear something? Did somebody say something to you? What made you go from jumping on the thing to going after somebody? No, first of all, like I was, uh, I was preparing for war. You know. Mm -hmm. I come inside the cage, I fight with this guy, and he tap. I'm like, 
why I come here? Why I train so hard for this? Like you're gonna tap like easy like this? You know, I just take his chin, you know, it's like he tap. Like uh, this, this one make me upset too, mm -hmm. you know, because I accept more than what I uh, find inside the cage. I expect more. And then after what happened, honestly, I don't remember everything. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I, I remember like someone from his like corner say something like, and it was like crazy emotional moment for me. You know? mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, well, this party not finished. That was one of the craziest yeah. moments ever. I remember watching that. And you went right after that. Was it the one guy you went after? Yeah, because 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 other guys all like they're all talking shit. No, no, no. This is not about this. They all old, yeah. like uh, he's. Oh, you didn't want to hurt an old guy. How I'm gonna fight with other guys? They are like mm -hmm. old people, you know, like wrestling coach and his uh, head coach. Like they 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 don't talk bad about me. Nothing. Yeah, this, this guy talk, this guy was talking bad about me. That's Did they get I'm, you at all when you were down there? Did they hit you with any punches with a ran when you went in that melee? Was there who, who it? Random pit because there were so many people just involved. Was it yeah. you tagged a little bit? No. No. Maybe. Maybe not. I because I don't remember, you know, but who cares? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you if 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 I if I care about someone gonna punch, why I jump? You know, right. it's like very simple. You right. think Connor's how pissed do you think that Connor is that you won't huh? how mad do you think Connor is that you won't I re rematch know. him? Because to me, it just looks like he, I feel like he's so mad that you just destroyed him and made him tap and then just kind of embarrassed no, him you, in the way. No, no, I think he's thinking this. No, you think like yes, this. Yes, I think, yeah, you, yeah, I think, I think that you, you don't understand the game. That's why. But I don't think, I think he was happy. You think so? You guys I think like, he was happy he because He was happy like, that you tapped him? Well, the, of course. Why well, do you what's, think he was What's going to happen if referee was not there? You would have broke his neck or like. No, but I was him. saying, do you think he's mad that you won't fight him again? I think that's what he was expecting. They, they, they never asked me to fight again. Oh, they didn't? Of course not. Like UFC say, why we have to make this fight again? He have to win some, you have to win. And then maybe we're going to make. But right now, you kill him for, for round and you finish him, he tap. There is like no reason. Like why we have to make rematch. Did you guys, did you just not like each other, you two? Yeah, how did that whole thing start with Connor? Uh -huh. I don't remember how that, that whole Connor thing started. Because it must have started like way back before. Well, you had, they had the, they had the whole thing I where. I think we just like, we have same goal. That's why, you know, like when Atlas, they have same goal, they don't like each other. Mm -hmm. He want to be champion. I want to be champion. You know, it's like simple. Because there was other stuff too, the bus. Remember the bus thing? Didn't he do something with your bus? You were driving in a bus and he threw like a, yeah threw like a thing through it. You remember this? I yeah. read the. I read the. Uh, yeah, he read made Michael Chiesa. This is, Michael Chiesa's yeah. head was bleeding, like a bunch of people. Big history. It is history, bro. I mean, that's one of the craziest rivalries of all time. Craziest. It really blew up the sport too, right? Do you think that that fight, obviously that fight, like that took you to another level, right? Too as like Khabib, like that was that, that was like a big scale fight, right? Mm, yeah, this is for sure. This is biggest fight in history of martial arts. You know, nothing close. I think even when um, he fight with my weather, it's like, okay, but not many people care about this fight. You know, it was like historical event, you know, it's like MMA champion versus boxing champion is like, you know, but like inside the fight, like, like many people, they don't even remember what happened inside the fight. I think you guys going to be agree with me, you know, it's like. With the fight well, with well, you? Okay, like for example, uh, in what round referee stopped this fight? Do the you four? remember? What did you say? Four? You remember? Which, what, you and who? No. Mayweather and Connor. Oh, no, oh, I don't that remember. That went like that. 10. I don't remember. I remember you and, Co you and Connor's Most fight. of the people don't remember. Yeah. They don't, they don't remember because it was like just like sparring fight, you know? Right. And um, for me, it was not a real fight because this guy, not real boxer, you know? And Mayweather, like what he did, like for me, it was like more fake fight. This is just my opinion. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, like, and then what was between us? It was real. What happened? What happened? Let's talk now.
punishment. We up there with the with no, the friend. No, I'm looking for punishment first. I have to be that it's very good when it happens. It's been a lot for me. Yeah, that is hard. Please, he asked. This is much better than the count. Yes. If you knock him out, like, if I knock him out like, in the second round, like, you go down, but you know, people, people that I talk about, oh, it's lucky. You know? But what about if you smash him off for a round and uh, he, he dies? No more. I don't think he ever want to come with you. Because he feels everything. He feels my mental, he feels my my control, my, my psychic, and all that. And we tap to it. Was his timing different than any other fighter? His timing? His timing, yeah. Uh, no, I all the time catch him. Yeah. He's like in first song, like a couple of minutes, he's not dead, and after slowly and quick. Yeah. He tried to talk with, him, with me about how oh, this is only business, you know, this is meant for me. So, please calm down, don't smash me. Yeah. It's only the good people. We try to make it otherwise. Every fight, you know, we almost think we, we already finished three round fight, and then we, we begin to try to talk about this. Yeah. It's a show with weakness. Yeah. Connor, in the build to the last fight, you were unusually kind to Dustin. Now on fight week, it's the exact opposite. So where did that switch happen? Because he got knocked the fuck out. Not McGregor fast, McGregor sleep. John, just down here. Yeah. It's been uh, three years since you fought, and also three years since Conor McGregor had a win. He's back this year. How do you see Conor coming back against Michael Chandler? There's only one Conor McGregor. I love Conor. I, I, I love... I love what he represents, man. He's he's big. He's big. He has a gigantic brand. Some sense is just as big as our sport, you know. And uh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great when he comes back. He's gonna bring a whole new energy, even more fans. It's great for all of us. It's great for the sponsors. Um, it's great for the UFC. I wish Conor all the best. I, I love I love the way he's living his life. I never thought in, in my time I'd see an MMA fighter with a a Ferrari yacht, right? But he's done it. Lamborghini. Lamborghini <laughs> yacht. See, you guys know. Um, and I'm so proud of him. It, it, it opens doors um, for all of us. It lets young fighters know that it's possible. You know, there's there's great business outside of the sport. There's life-changing opportunity outside of the sport. And I'm just so grateful for, for, for uh, being that example for all of us. That last fight, did you plan on trying to go that kick right away? Yeah. <laughs> Especially right. the guys that play a party game a lot. So many guys stand like this and have that party game. If you give them a side kick and get them to party that, and that hook kick can change, you know, it's, it's comes up as it's It's like a hook. Right. Right. It's a hook. It's a hook. It's a nasty, nasty shot. How are you doing it? You're starting to blow. Like, as if you're doing a side kick. Oh. Like that. You did that to the body? Like, boom. You hit it to the body? No, I, I, I needed a VMO or the head. Oh, no. It's better. 